Alright guys, um, I believe your phys 1, oh, I'm sorry, mass 110 exam went well today. So as usual, this is uh, the year modulus solution. Uh, the, the very quick one, I just want to I just want to go through some of the repeated questions. I know that many of you were not opportunity to attend our marathon classes and the last class we did. Actually, we are done with our scheme of work for phys 101. Alright, so but uh, there is need for us to understand that even in that mass one thing you wrote today, there were some questions that were repeated. I told us already that they repeat they normally repeat question in physics and they must one thing especially. Okay. But physics is more. Physics is more. And then we are expecting like um, 30, 35 question, 40, 45, 17. Well physics question is not that uh, like the questions they don't have a specific number, though there's not going to be um theory questions. So quickly I just want to run down this is don't mind the 30, 30, 30, 20, 30, 30, 30 I put there, just uh, 2015 that I have there. So if you don't have the this into, you can still let me know the past questions. I will still send it across to you. This is just the past question for 2015, okay? And I'll be going through repeated questions. This is just part one of it. So I'll take another year or so. And then uh, I may not really cover everything, but I just want to show you some of the repeated questions you need to take note of. So one of them we have here. Um, is the first one number one okay um of course you see dimension of coefficient of friction is what the uh, uh, coefficient of friction is dimensionless just like uh, angle angle is dimensionless train is also dimensionless so i'll be mentioning some related question alongside number two which of this question has the same unit as work of course the answer there is movement okay now uh there are other ones again that are also related to this very question impulse and momentum are the same stress pressure and young modulus also the same distance and displacements together velocity and speed together all right what is the SI unit of um, viscosity the SI unit of viscosity so take note of that question that is a <coughs> option C SI unit of viscosity that every physical qu quantity has been expressed in terms of terms of what in terms of what the SI unit of fundamental units Yes, we express the physical quantities in terms of uh, fundamental units. Every physical quantity is expressed in terms of their fundamental units. All right. Now, question number five is. I will just run down to the retail related question, please, so that I I don't just delay in this video. So, um, take care of question number six. Of course, if you have been going through your past question, you can agree with me. Question number six. If vector a and d are both uh, the same, then a dot b is what perpendicular to each other. Okay, so that is the answer. There is a. And uh, look at question seven also. Question seven. Go to question seven. Go to question eight. Question eight has been repeated two times, three times. I want to be very fast about this. Question nine is also scalar product of two vectors. Now the answer there I think is uh, seven or so. So check down. Very very important scalar product is scalar product you just multiply i to i j to j and k to k that means seven times four three times five and three times minus three add them up and get your answer okay um in terms of a scalar value remember i dot i j dot j and k dot k are all one number 10 number 10 has to do with differentiation sorry um um yeah we have we normally have i think we saw the question in class we have this question in two form where they will give you displacement vector and then you are asked to find a displacement vector at a particular time and you may also be asked to find the the acceleration and the velocity so in this case remember our x-axis has the i unit vector and the y-axis has the y unit vector so if you put this together you are going to get um 2t minus 3t square uh, times i and then 3t square plus t cubed times j so that will be equal to your displacement vector now they say at t equals to 2 so anyway you see t you put what to plug in your value you get your answer now what if you are asked to find the um what if you are asked to find the the velocity you differentiate that displacement vector you get and if you are asked to find your acceleration you, dis you differentiate to get such questions so expect that kind of question expect question of that form it comes in different form all right skip number 11 let's move to number 12 in accordance with newton law newton's law 
okay of course an object in motion eventually comes to halt an object at rest eventually begins to move an object in motion moves in a parabolic trajectory unless acted upon an object at rest remains at rest unless acted upon by need for that is d is the answer so take note of that now number 13 take note of number 13 you are going to use the formula for maximum range a uh, range and the uh, formula for range and formula for maximum height to evaluate that okay so just keep every other thing constant just put the value of your angle in both cases and see the value you are going to get in terms of angle all right see what you are going to get remember our range is a u squared sine 2 theta over g keep u over g constant why our maximum height is u square sine square theta all over 2g so keep the u square and the, the g constants all right while you work on the other part of the work okay so um the next one here is number 14 please take note of number 14 number 14 like i said i still have the question paper maybe properly you can request for it i'll send the full work for you but i'm just here to show you i believe you have your past questions so i'm just here to just guide you on repeated questions and the area i want you to really pay much attention to okay now question 14 says impulse is defined as what of course change in momentum they have repeated this question of course like up to four five different years now so the answer there is option d now number 15 take note of number 15 take note of um, number 16 zone so, number 16 question is not very clear um though the answer there is a uh, inertia option c tendency of of, 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 of uh, object to resist the change of its uh, position so but it's not very clear the way they ask it there so but the answer is a uh, um c they have repeated this question like three different years also um number 17 calculate the power of a pump take note of that number 18 power relates to work done as dash take note of that first time say uh, the rate at which work is on which number uh, option c then look at number 19 very important check number 19 also check number 20 check number 20 that has to do with the center of a uh, center of mass center of mass take number 6 20 21 2 that is a neutral law restitution okay remember the value for um elastic collision and elastic collision in terms of the uh, restitution uh, coefficients the value there is a uh, e e the value for uh, elastic co elastic collision value uh how do you call it um that is a neutral law of restitution the coefficient for elastic collision is one while for an elastic collision is a uh, zero all right so uh Take note of number 20, 23, then take note of number 24, then of course number 25, then number, number, move on to number 27, that's the moment of inertia, uh, radius, of, radius of gyration, that's the answer, then move on to number 29, number 30 number 31 then um, of course let's see the next section number 33 also then um, skip 34 skip 35 skip uh, then move to 30 or well, skip 36 to then um, number skip 37 skip that it actually it was coming from those when they were treating chapter eight and nine but chapter eight and nine was not treated so skip those ones skip 39 oh no 39 is part of it under friction okay so 39 is part of it then 40 is also part of it i think that as well actually it was when they were treating objective and theory then i think this was my one of the year we also looked at so if you also check also in this section you see um question number one c one c is also talking about that differentiation stuff you are asked to find instantaneous velocity and then the displacement vector and blah 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 the rest of them so that's it then this question number two a i i is also is an objective question in one of the year so they converted this question to objective question a man of five kg mass walks up a staircase of 12 steps each 20 cm high in five seconds 
find its potential energy and power you know this is it. so our potential energy is, is mgh and to get total height you say 12 times that um 20 divided by 100 which is converting cm to meter that is total height so use that multiply by our mgh you get your answer then divide that mgh by time you get your what your power so those questions were converted to objective question all right so this is just the part one of the stuff i just went through some questions because i know that many of you didn't come but those of you that came for that revision class the last pi, 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 marathon class we had i don't think we are going to have issue they just take note of those questions i ticked in the past question if you don't have it you can ask a friend to steal it across you once again this is the young modeling solution please uh, subscribe to the youtube channel and then share this same information to your cosmate this night at least from now till Wednesday because on Wednesday is the day for your phase 101 exam. Thank you.